So I'm going to start with by opening up a family that I created ahead of time. It's a specialty equipment family and it's just a cube. And so really what we're talking about here is the management of data in, in models and in families. It doesn't really, this particular lesson doesn't really have to do with the three-dimensional aspect of the family. It's about the information that it contains. So I'm going to go to the floor plan view here and you can see it's just a simple cube. I'll turn the shade mode on so we can see it a little bit better. And whoops, that's the detail level instead. Uh, turn on shaded mode and you can see there's, there's no parameters in here yet. Um, if I go to the family types, you can see it's, it's empty. What I'm going to do to demonstrate the differences between the three different types of parameters in Revit is I'm going to use family parameters first, load this into a project, and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to add a width, a length, and a height parameter, and use the dimension tools, and we'll create those simple parameters. And these are going to be family parameters. And what that means is that the, they are inside the family file. And when you create family parameters, they become sort of locked in the family. Um, they can't be used by any other file. And go to the front view, and we'll do another dimension for the height. And then we'll put parameters on these. And so when I click on Add Parameter, you can see here it says Family Parameter. And then underneath that it says Cannot Appear in Schedules and Tags. So this is going to be height. We'll make it a type parameter, keep it simple here. And then we'll go to the plan and we'll make this the width parameter. Once again, this is going to be a family parameter in this case. And this one will be the length parameter. And type parameter, also family parameter. I'm going to add one more extra parameter, and it's going to be a text-based parameter. And so I go to the family types, and you can see the, the three parameters that are in here right now are the width, length, and height. And so I'm going to click on Add Parameter, and just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to call this parameter A. It's going to be a type parameter, and instead of a length parameter, it's actually going to be a text parameter and then I'm going to put it into the identity data group. Click OK, OK. Now that parameter, because it's a text parameter, doesn't actually get added to any of the three-dimensional geometry. It's just one little bit of data that we have in this file. And so there it is, identity data parameter A. Now these, these here are all of the kind of default parameters that come with all of the families, but this one's our custom one right here. So these are all family parameters. I'm going to save this file and then open up a new project and we'll load this family into that new project just to see what happens. So i got the project open. I'm going to switch back to the family, click on load into project and it will come into the project. It's attached to my cursor. I'm just going to drop it in there and create a few instances of that. 